everyone and welcome back to another video. It's Brianna Ray from BriIY and I am here to bring you more wedding related content. So I got proposed to not too long ago and I wanted to kind of show you guys what I was doing for my bridesmaids proposals. Um, I did, I do have a six bridesmaids and I have actually already done the proposal so my wedding party is pretty much finalized. Um, but I did do a lot of really cute, uh, super easy DIYs in order to put it together and it was really cost effective. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I did and how I did it and maybe give you a little bit of inspiration as well. My Cricut is acting a little slow today, so while it's cutting out some materials for me, you might hear it in the background, but hopefully it won't be too dramatic. In short, I have three little things that I popped in each of my bridesmaid proposal boxes, starting first and foremost with this cute little canvas bag. I really wanted to give my bridesmaids things that I thought they would either like, use, or wouldn't be a, you know burden to store if it wasn't something that they would particularly like. I thought this would be nice to maybe hold any, uh, you know, wedding day jewelry or uh, just, you know, use as a general makeup holder if that's something that they wanted or needed for on the go. Um, I just think no one can have too many of these little pouches, so I am going to be customizing this with all the names and on mine, which is how I will be demonstrating for you today, I will be writing bride. Third, uh, the second thing that I got, not third, I'm really good at math, um, is these little bracelet uh, templates. Um, I got a huge pack of these online, and I've actually shown you in another video how to make these from scratch, I believe. Um, I hope that one's out by this point. It should be. Um, but you can see that video up here if you're interested. Uh, but I do have these little templates, and I found some super simple uh, stamped plates. You can either stamp these yourself, I do have the materials to do this, or you could order them if you do not have any stamping materials. And two jump rings to attach everything as well as some embroidery floss. I actually gave them uh, bracelets in the same color that I wanted their bridesmaid dresses to be, uh, but for me I'm going to be going with pink because that is what I think I will wear the most often. And the very last thing is going to be the cup. I got a little set of wine glasses. Uh, this is obviously a stemless wine glass. I believe um, I got the capped ones for my maid of honor and my matron of honor. I am having two, uh, but for this one, I'm just gonna be using a plain, simple wine glass. I got this for $3 from my local, I think Walgreens. <laughs> um, I think I just got it from the corner store and I'm going to be customizing this on theirs. I wrote maid of honor and matron of honor and on mine, of course, I am going to be writing bride. So. With all of these uh, sweet little inexpensive things, I got a pack of these for $8. You know, I got a big, like I think I got a set of 50 of these for probably $15. All of these things are pretty cost effective and especially when you're buying them in bulk. So I'm really excited to show you how I put all these together. Let's get started. The most time consuming of these DIYs is going to be the bracelet and that is only because I hand make all of my tassels. So I'm gonna do three fingers my index through my uh, ring finger and I'm gonna start angling down and start wrapping around 10 to 15 times I think I'm just gonna do 12 to kind of do a mid-range one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and I want it to kind of come down just like it did on the other side there now I'm gonna separate this Clip the little edge off. And I'm going to cut another small piece of string. Hold this underneath and tie it toward the maybe upper fifth. Like that. Making sure, of course, that you're keeping a nice hole in there. So that eventually, and honestly I can probably do this now, you can really do it at any time. You can bring it in a jump ring, open it up, and just kind of slip it in there, making sure to get all the layers, and closing it back up. And now I can kind of angle this up towards the top, make sure that it fits the right way, nice and snug, right before I make that second knot. That is perfect. We've got that all done, I'm just going to go through cut these bottom loops off like this and then of course trim it to the appropriate length and now we have a simple little tassel charm super cute 
From here, the assembly is super easy. We're just gonna put the little B for my first name, Brianna Ray. Open that up, loop it onto the jump ring. And I like to put mine actually on the overlapping section because it looks to me to be a little bit closer to like the look of those Alex and Ani bracelets that were really popular back when I was in high school. I don't know how popular they are now, but still. Pop that on and close it up. And super cute and personalized bracelet. Next on the docket, we have probably our most customizable, and of course, you do not even really need to go the iron-on vinyl route, but that is the route that I chose, and I went for the lower uh, right corner for my details. Of course, you could put it in the center, you can add, uh, you could paint this, there's so much that you could do with this one. I wanted to go simple again, uh, just because I wanted to make sure that it was super usable for all of my bridesmaids and it didn't feel like I was getting them things that they could not make some use out of. Um, on my bridesmaids, I did not put uh, bridesmaid or, you know, maid of honor or whatever. I did put their names on this because I thought this would be uh, just a lot nicer and a little bit more personal. So, as always, gonna just give it a good smash with my iron on the appropriate settings based on your particular vinyl. And there we have item number two. And I think these two alone even work really well. Um, the last one is of course going to be just as easy and that is going to be the wine glass. For the last one, I have permanent vinyl that is going to go right on top of my cup. In order to get it off of here and onto the cup, you can use transfer tape. Now, for this, I just happened to have this little scrap left over that I wanted to use, so I am going to be kind of pushing the boundaries a little bit of what I really should be doing. But what you're going to do, take transfer tape, layer it on top of your vinyl, scrape it on there, or burnish it, I believe is the technical term, real good. Here they should come off just fine. There we go. Then, since it's clear, you'll be able to take it over to your glass, cup, mug, whatever it is that you're doing. Find the appropriate center point. Go from the eye there. There we go, gonna burnish this as well, make sure that it's stuck really good on there. So the best tip that I found to make sure it doesn't stick is to come at a really sharp angle. When you go at it at the sharp angle, it is far less likely to peel off. I'm gonna go in after this and just make extra certain that all, that I don't have any air bubbles. And there we have our third piece. And there we have it, three little gifts that you can put in a bridesmaid proposal box. Um, what I did for mine is I just took a solid white box, layered it with some tissue paper, and folded everything inside nice and neat. I actually found these absolutely gorgeous, uh, angled, like kind of more stylish looking uh, lavender slash lilac cards. I think I got quite a few of them. Uh, and this is what I used. I wrote, will you be my bridesmaid on it? Uh, signed my name, the date of the wedding and all of that. And this is how I sent it to my friends. I actually did hand deliver all of them because I thought it would be nicer. Um, that way I wouldn't have to worry about shipping and all that, but you know, uh, and this, is, of course, was the same color purple, so everything kind of matched and looked really nice together. Uh, but that was really all that I did for this. Uh, yeah, I don't know how many of you are planning on getting married anytime soon. I don't know how many of you want to even do a bridesmaid proposal kind of thing like I did. Uh, but for as much time and effort as I know that my bridesmaids are going to be putting in to make sure that I have such a wonderful day, I feel like just a couple of gifts are worth it to thank them in advance for everything that they are going to do for me coming up. So that is actually all I had for you today. I wanted to thank you guys so, so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe. I do put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time, and I'd love for you to be here for the next one. Thanks again so, so much, and I hope to see you then. Bye.